jaws of life we use the grinder a glue paste as you can see in the picture and then we use the scissor, the scissor we use the tubes and the syringe to 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 push pressure then we use bolts and nuts and also flat sticks we use the cardboard then we started making our projects whereby we cut the cardboard into shapes then we shaped it into a square then we started measuring using a tape measure we use the tape measure so that we will know where the, where is the, the the center of the cardboard so that we know that when we are drawing our jaws uh they are equal in length you know so that they won't give us trouble when we have to move them so then we started drawing as you can see we used our pencil to draw then we started drawing uh then we we find the middle so that when we cut them when we are we are separating them making them two we will know where to cut exactly okay then we moved whereby we now had to cut using a scissor then during our cutting we find it very difficult to cut the cardboard since we were using a scissor uh there is there is small there is small there is not big in shape so it was roughly moving hard so we find that difficult uh, in this instance we realized that we had to apply more effort so that we can like we can cut the cardboard so then we did so and applied more effort uh although it was like tiring but then we continued cutting until we we, we finished it so because we had to make our chores you know yeah so then we continued from there after cutting them as you can see this is how the cardboard looked like then we started like putting our jaws after cutting them we've cut them into shapes then we started placing them over the, the, the board that will be beneath the jaws you know then we started you used the, 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 the we used the pencil to 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 make a marker where to cut then we started cutting the the, the, the board that is under the jaws then we cut it into shape and then we checked whether it it fits as 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 we have like we have measured it okay then well it looks like it fits so then we then now started uh to place uh our flat sticks so, so that we know where to cut them where to drill them then we started uh like we placed them as you can see we made uh marks where we're gonna drill and cut our flat stick and our cardboard for the jaws as we we were about to make our project as you can see they were agreeing on the point that we must drill over there yeah so then we made a point using our pencil then we went into the driller whereby there was a plank underneath so that it will ensure our safety we started drilling uh our flat sticks we drilled our flat sticks our flat sticks as you can see then we moved on to drill uh, a syringe we drilled a syringe you know, drilling a syringe was really challenging for us as you can see here uh whereby i asked my my team my, my team member to, to 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 hold for me then we held at the wrong place then we realized that we must move closer so that the syringe doesn't rotate then we drilled so that our bolt nuts can go through easily then we drilled it as you can see now that it went on then we pushed down our griller for safety as you can see they are now drilled uh and these are syringes and then so here we made a mistake so we had to re-drill another 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 flat stick so that we will include them on the on the on our project uh as you can see my my group member is drilling over there then we went on to drill the cardboard so that uh we can easily just put in the bolts and nuts we drilled them we drilled them then we finished drilling as you can see here we're enlarging like the hole so that our nuts can go through easily as we find out that they didn't go easily so yeah this is how we made it as you can see uh we then moved on uh we started putting it together so that it can actually become a a model a finished model we started inserting our bolts and nuts as you can see uh, we started pasting putting our our flat sticks uh then we started making our our object 
we made it as a group as you can all see we work together as a whole so that it will be easier and more faster to finish our process uh, our model so as you can see we are trying by all means to make sure that we do not make mistakes we worked as a group uh, and then we were discussing where we are making errors so we decided that it is fine that it should be like this then we started to take our syringe as you can see over there then we, we placed our syringe in those flat sticks now we had another step whereby we had to add another cardboard where our syringe will, will have to be attached to as you you can see that it needs to be attached then we started uh, making sure that we closed our uh, our jaws our model so that we can get the exact position where we should paste our syringe using a glue paster yes as you can see now that the, 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 the other cardboard was paste we started using the the, the the glue paster we then initially put the the glue over there then we started pasting our our syringe we pasted our syringe we made sure that we do not touch it up with our hands so that we do not find ourselves in an injury or any bad or serious injury uh, as you can see then we made sure that it was stable and strong we started putting more glue so that it will fit and stay strong and not move or adjust to a position we do not want our syringe then here you can see that uh, our model is finally coming together now we had to put the the, 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 the the tubes we started with putting a long tube then we inserted uh, our syringe but when we tried to move it it didn't work you know why because our tube was too long and we couldn't apply more pressure so that was our error that we made so we tried to recorrect it by doing what we cut the tube then after cutting it then we inserted it we started making as you can see our jaws of life started working very well and very perfectly vividly uh, as you can see it moves when he pushes it opens right when he pulls the syringe it closes as you can see this was our jaws of life working very well so yeah as you can see other group member trying to work it out as you can see it's smooth smoothly so this was our group uh then we had to make this video as you can see it moves very well we were a happy group then we realized that working as the team made things very easy for us so yeah this is the end of our model as you can see we are a happy group after all